John Nelson, as we said, is the curator of the A.C. Moore Herbarium at the University of South Carolina. And they have many wonderful plants that are rare and delightful. But then we also have plants that show up in many places. And I think today you brought a selection of plants that um, sometimes are troublesome to people. And we call them weeds. Yes, we do. And the reason I wanted to bring these is these weeds are generally belong to a group that we call graminoid plants. And that just means they look like grasses. But they're not always grasses in a technical sense. And so what I want to like pay a special attention to tonight are the sedges. The sedges. All sedges. Right. And there are a lot of sedges that and are... And all I know is sedges have edges. And what does that mean exactly? Sedges, sedges have edges. And it means that if you take a sedge mm -hmm. in your in your little fingers, the the the, long the stem, uh, uh -huh. oh, the stem, uh -huh. the stem, it'll it'll be sort of triangular, All right. okay. and you can feel that more or less if you rub it around between your fingers. Okay, all right. Whereas grass stems are round. Okay, all right. So well, let's start down here. Yeah. And actually, you know, John, they're they're right handsome. They can be very pretty, you mm -hmm. know. And of course, um, you know, there is that we're all we've already heard about this. This beautiful sedge that people grow in water yes, features. Yes, yes, that and, Katie uh, just showed yeah, us. Yeah. Cyperus alternifolius, I think. All right. But let's but, talk about the, so let's start the, down here. These guys are weeds, and uh, most people don't want to have them in their yard or in their agricultural setting, but they're kind of hard to control. The first two, uh, these several here are called nut sedges, yes. and they all belong to the genus Cyperus. And why is it called nut sedge? Because they produce knotly little things under the ground like little nuts. And those are reproductive structures? Right. Well, and uh, asexual reproduction, right. so it's just like uh, they can come up next year from these same things. Okay. Uh, the first two, though, are very common. Yellow nut sedge is also called chufa, and um, this one is uh, Cyperus esculentus. It's actually worldwide. It's one of the Whoa. worst weeds in the world. But I hear that people plant it for wildlife. That's right. And chufa is a selection of this species. All it's right. fantastic for uh, critters, especially turkeys. turkeys. And did they eat the um, the seed heads, or do they eat the little? They eat those little nuts. So the, and they dig them up with their little. And it's not really a beef. nut; it just kind of looks. It's like, like that. a little tuber. A little tuber. Okay. Uh, just like water chestnut is another tuberous thing oh. that is in a different genus okay. in the sedge right. family. So chufa and then next so to So we it. have yellow nut sedge and we also have uh, purple nut sedge. Yes. Sometimes called red nut sedge. And it looks a lot, it looks similar, but it's the spikelets are kind of reddish purple. This is a real interesting specimen because it was collected from the farm of my former professor at Clemson, John Ferry. Aha. Uh -huh. Down in Orangeburg County. Roseville, I, yeah. yeah. So the next one we've got is also commonly seen. It's a very handsome one. That though. one is handsome. It's got these great big uh, reddish uh, big spikelets heads, up here. Yeah. Uh -huh. It also makes reddish roots. Does and it? it's called red root nut sedge. All righty. So this is just another one. And it again would have some of those little uh, nut-like kind of things. Um, it's, it's not so well as, uh, not so ex well expressed as these other okay. two guys. So this one here is a very common one that we sometimes see in natural settings, not just you know weedy places. Mm -hmm. And this one is um, straw-colored nut sedge. I think it's the prettiest one of all. Of course, I got to remind everybody that when we make a specimen like this, we have to bend the plant oh. around so it'll fit on the sheet. Okay, so, so it's not pendulous. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's, it would be. <laughs> it was just tall. Yeah. It was tall. Well, and may I say, I am not tall, and John has not shrunk. <laughs> they have me standing on a box. So, so I can do this. <laughs> no, no, because these things are because the the the, paint, yeah. the, the cardboards are tall. Well, so and we so, have a couple more. Okay. Um, nut, here's another nut sedge. It's very common in lawns, and you oh. can see that. It's a pretty uh, characteristic sort of shape of the head of spikelet, sort yes, of globose. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, it's called, uh, I don't know why they call it Baldwin's nut sedge, but they do. Well, I guess anyway, Mr. Baldwin had something to do with it. Maybe so. But this one, this one's all over my yard, too. Oh, is it? And, uh, but it regularly gets mowed down, and I just treat it like it's grass. Yeah, might, yeah, that's, yeah might as well. Because um, it doesn't, it's not, these, do, these um, let's say, these do not have things that hurt you when you step on no, them. So no. So that's what, it's not like those things that'll 
that'll poke not your like foot. They're like sand spurs. No, no, they're, they're no, no, soft, no, no, no. so you don't have to have that yeah. worry associated yeah, with them. These are not sand spurs. Okay, now this one has a, is in a different um, genus? This is, is uh, a slightly different genus, although at one time it was maintained as a species of Cyperus, but yes. now we put it in Kylingia, the yes. genus Kylingia, and that's one of the common names. The other, other thing that we call it sometimes is, um, what Fragrant? do we call it? Fragrant mm -hmm. uh, a spike sedge. And mm -hmm. you know, and the, the little spikes that you see are clustered at the very end of the, a very leafy stem in this case. So it's a little bit different from some of these other uh, nut sedges. And also the, the roots are fragrant, very oh. sweetly fragrant. I overwatered once and um, got some of this in an area of the lawn that was in full sun. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think some of these um, like water, is that? Some of them are, are, are Practically aquatic. Almost place. aquatic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then down here, you said we have something that. We, we have is a trick, a, a trick, trick. question. Okay. This is, that last one is not a sedge at all. That is a grass. But it sort of does look like a sedge. That's why I brought it along. That it what? makes its flowers in these sort of spiky looking branches yes. that somewhat resemble some of the nut sedges. And a lot of times people would just figure they're all basically same the same. Thing. But there are a lot of differences. So that's goose grass, and okay. that's also very common in uh, people's backyards as well as in um, roadsides and agricultural settings too. People often come to our office and want to know what they've got so that they can spray it, and a grass would be treated with a different herbicide than a sedge. It's important to know what you have. If you are involved, if you if you worried about it, you want to try to get some control. Mm. And often we send things to you. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to send you something for identification, which you do for free, which is mighty nice of you, um, we shouldn't go out there after we cut it. We shouldn't go after, after we mow. We should let the plant express itself. Don't you need to see the seed heads often? If if one of our viewers has one of these crazy sedges or grass that needs or to be anything. identified or yeah. anything. Yeah. What, and you don't have to send it to me necessarily. I mean, I'm not the only local oh, no, herbarium no, sure. around. Yeah. Um, wait until at least one or two of those plants is and allowed it won't to take bloom. Long. Usually not, because it's very hard to identify one of these graminoids without having the seed okay. heads on it. All right. So. And John, if somebody wants to take a picture or send you something, I, if they take a picture, which is pretty easy, what, what's the, do you have an email? Is it easy to we get do. something oh, to we, you? Yeah, it's very easy. Just an, a JPEG image. I look at them all the time and it's just send it as an email attachment to me. And, or and if what's your email? My email, that's a good question, is uh, nelson at sc.edu. Nelson at sc.edu. Well, right. I have it um, permanently um, in my mind because we send you things all the time and it's a wonderful service to the citizens of South Carolina. Now John does not give control methods so once you find out what it is then check with your local Clemson Extension office if it is something that you find that you need to control and we will do our very best to help you and John we thank you so much for joining us. Well thanks for having me yeah, on again. Thank you.